This is breaking news. Allison Boshow FF. Sex bomb Sydney Sweeney is determined not to be typecast as she holds her own alongside A-list talent Jude Law and Vanessa Kirby in new film. Sydney Sweeney may be Hollywood's sex bomb du jour, but the 26-year-old, who first caught the eye in Euphoria and The White Lotus, is determined not to be typecast. In her new film, Maiden, glamorous Sweeney will be playing a mumsy Hausfrau alongside some A-list talent, including Jude Law and Vanessa Kirby, and I hear she more than holds her own. Buzz is already building about her strong performance in the picture, a thriller from director Ron Howard about a group of settlers on Floriana, a remote island in the Galapagos, in the 1930s, based on a stranger-than-fiction true story. Ana de Armas is the baroness who arrives determined to build a hotel on the isle and takes numerous lovers. And Sweeney is Margaret Whitner, married to Heinz, played by Daniel Brohl. Put them all together and murder and mayhem ensue. A source says, Sydney is amazing. It's going to take her Hollywood career up to a new level, playing across from all of these heavyweight actors and working with a director of Ron's caliber. The film has been produced by Hollywood Super Indies Imagine and AGC Studios and is expected to launch its awards campaign with a premiere at the Venice Film Festival this summer. The amazing, true, story of the British undercover policeman who had a baby with an animal rights activist, without her knowing his real identity, is to be told in a Hollywood film. Everything I Ever Knew, written by Prima Facies' Susie Miller, tells the story of Jackie who discovers, after 25 years, that the father of her eldest son was not a fellow activist, but an undercover cop. Interest in the tale was sparked by the 2012 article, The Spy Who Loved Me, published in The New Yorker. Bob Lambert was a policeman who posed as a long-haired anarchist and had a romance with animal rights activist Jackie. They had a son, but when he was two, Bob vanished. Two decades later, in 2012, Jackie read an article about spy cops and realized that her disappearing boyfriend had been a police officer. In 2014, the Met paid her £425,000 in return for her dropping legal action alleging assault, negligence, deceit, and misconduct. In 2020, Scotland Yard apologized and paid compensation to her son. At least two other police spies are known to have fathered children with activists. A public inquiry into undercover policing is underway. Jacqui, now 62, lives in Essex and teaches law at a college. She was contacted by director Philita Lloyd and is a paid consultant on the film. Her son and Lambert are supportive of the project. Against the odds, the three of them have maintained a friendly relationship after the initial shock of the revelation wore off. Jacqui said, I'm excited and a bit terrified. What happened to me was like an atomic bomb going off in my life. The repercussions have gone on for decades. It took me a long time to get my head around it and find some peace. Director Lloyd said, It was as if someone had taken this woman, thrown her against a wall, and shattered her into a million pieces. You want to help her make sense of it, give her the voice she deserves. To bring to life the outrageous roller coaster of her story, she continued, adding, This is a role for a mighty actress. Sources say someone with an international profile, such as Jodie Comer, star of one woman smash hit play Prima Facie, would be a natural fit. Another similar project, After You'd Gone, starring Gemma Arterton and with input from women who were involved with undercover police officers is also in development. It turns out Hollywood's Jake Gyllenhaal is a huge foodie. The actor, who is currently starring in Apple TV Plus's Presumed Innocent, said, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, do you know him? He leaves his gig as a chef in London, and he buys a place out in the English countryside, like a little cottage, 
And what he does is he learns about the land, and he learns about how to raise animals and how to grow things. Jake and girlfriend Jean Cadio are also keen bakers. A favorite is buttermilk cake. Sister Maggie says he's as gifted a cook as he is an actor. With Euro 2024 about to kick off, Gabby Logan is searching for a box set to help her decompress in any downtime. Gabby, who is a key figure in the BBC host lineup, said, I discovered a wonderful BBC sitcom called Two Doors Down when I was working at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. And the Scandi drama The Bridge when I covered the Euros in Ukraine and Poland in 2012. So this time, I'm on the lookout for an immersive, dark German thriller. 